Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2017 Chevrolet Traverse. This one is a very nicely loaded LT all-wheel drive. As you can see outside, this one is finished off in a black exterior, which I think looks fantastic with these darker finished wheels and then the blacked out Chevy badges. But outside, like I said, black exterior. You can see your chrome door handles that the LT gives you, as well as your body colored mirrors with blind spot monitoring built in. This one also does have the factory running boards down below. Up top, you can see your roof rails with crossbars. And of course, your tinted rear privacy glass, as well as your chrome underneath of the windows. Around the rear, dual exhaust, rear backup sensors. This one does have a rear backup camera. And to open the trunk, it is power. Just press and hold on the key. And just like that, it will open up. Press again, bring it back down. You can also see on the rear, like I said, your very cool blacked out Chevy badges. And then like I said, rear parking sensors. And you also do have the very nice trim on the bumper. Protect it loading things in and out. Coming up to this side, this one is riding on Bridgestone Dueler HL Alenza tires. And these, if they aren't new, they are very close to it. They are P255, 55R20s. So 20 inch dark finish wheels, like I said, rear disc brakes. Everything follows through on this side. Up front, you can see your halogen headlights, as well as your fog lights down below. You can see the black Chevy badges follow through up front. Go ahead and get in this one. It does have remote start, just make sure it's locked. Press and hold right there. Just like that, it will start up. Go ahead and get in this one. And inside, this one does have the black leather interior. And obviously, this being a 17, this is the facelift of this body style Traverse. So this interior is much nicer than the early builds. To start, typical GM, just insert the key. And to start, just flick. Go ahead and close the door. And once you're inside, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel. Your aluminum trim on each side of the wheel, as well as your cruise controls, audio system controls right there. And it's very nice and light power steering. Up top on the door, it's all padded stitched leather. It looks and feels great. Around here, you have more padded stitched leather on the armrest. All four of your automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, and your power lock controls right there. Power seat memory up top on the door. Storage down below, you also do have bottle holders built into the door. Over here, your headlight controls, they are automatic. You also have your dome light controls, ambient lighting off, and then this will control your gauge dimmer. Typical American car fashion, when you click it to the highest setting, it will turn your interior lights on. Dashboard itself is all soft touch material all the way across the top. Very nice, high quality, and then once again, you have the stitched leather in the middle, which does follow around there gauges in the middle. You can see this one does have just over 30,000 miles on it. Tachometer, speedometer, your fuel gauge in the middle, and then your engine temperature and battery voltometer. Up top, storage compartment, as well as, like I said, two air vents right there. You have some silver trim around them. And then down below, you do have some wood grain trim around your audio system and everything else. This one is equipped with the typical Chevrolet MyLink system. It's very nice and simple to use, actually is equipped with navigation, of course, as you'd expect. Going back to the home screen though, you have all of your different apps. I believe this does have Apple CarPlay, different settings, things like that throughout here. Going back to the audio system, AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, everything you'd expect. And this one as well, it is equipped with the Bose audio system, which sounds fantastic. Very nice, simple to use. Below there, these are the controls for your center display and the gauges. Um, can change everything through there. Hazard controls, soldier passenger airbag indicator. Below there, dual zone automatic climate control. Very nice and simple to use. You have your zone for the passenger, zone for the driver, and you can sync them obviously and everything else. All the controls around there. Below there, heated seats for the driver and passenger. They are dual stage. They are typical GM fashion where you can have just the back portion heated or the back and the bottom. 
they are three stage on and off. Same goes for the passenger side. Rear wiper controls, traction control on and off, as well as your tow mode. You can also control the power trunk from right there. Power outlet holds your USB port next to it. And then you do have two cup holders, as well as some more of the wood grain around here. Some storage. And this one is equipped with the six speed auto. Low gear, you can shift manually by the rocker right there. In reverse, this one does have a rear backup camera. Back here, padded armrest, storage inside of there, just pressed release. And then this will slide back so you can access this compartment. More storage, you can see your change slots. There's more storage below there, another power outlet. Seats in this one are very typical of this platform. Nice and comfortable. The high quality leather as well with your stitching in the middle. They look and feel great. Also do have your headrests up top, which are adjustable. But overall, typical American car. They're very plush, very nice place to be. Up top, you can see your visors with your illuminated vanity mirror built in. This also will go to the side and extend. It's your microphone for the Bluetooth. All of your interior lighting controls in the middle, as well as your garage home link and then auto dimming rear view mirror right there. We'll go ahead, step out of this one. Unlock all the doors, driver's side, automatic window down, and pop the hood. I'm sorry if this video does seem a little rushed, but if you can't tell by the sky, I'm kind of trying to beat the weather right now. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, typical GM, just walk up, press to release. And stepping into the rear, I am six foot two and I can sit behind myself no problem at all. These seats also are on rails and I believe this one is moved awkwardly too far forward. But as you can see, they are on rails, you can adjust them. Like I said, six foot two and I can sit behind myself no problem in here. Everything follows through on the door with your padded leather up top. Do have a cup holder right there, as well as more padded leather on the armrest. Storage. Let's see your back seat pockets on each side. And obviously too, these are captain's chairs. So you do have the armrests in the middle. And even the third row in here is not a bad place to be. And so you do have room for three passengers. And I mean, with my seat all the way back, there's still plenty of leg room. On the sides, you do have cup holders, storage, speakers for your Bose audio. And up top too, interior lighting, as well as your two air vents for the third row. Same goes for back here. You can see your air vents. Down below as well, you do have the typical GM setup for controlling your rear entertainment. This one might not have the TV screen, but you do still have entertainment built in. You can plug in headphones and listen to music and also control the rear air conditioning and all of that. Very nice and simple. Below there, two fast charge USB ports, some storage, and another power outlet. Like I said earlier in the video, these refreshed traverses are just a huge improvement over the early builds. Inside of the trunk, it's pressed to release. Everything follows through back here. You can see this one does include your carpeted rear floor mats as well. Underneath of there, you do have some storage, all of that. You can see different tie downs and stuff on the sides. Soldier power trunk controls behind there. And a power outlet. Seats obviously in this one do split fold. Just drop it down from right there. That'll give you an idea of space with the seats up versus with the seats down. Very nice and simple. And you do get a completely flat loading floor once you have them down. Obviously, I did move that side of the seat a little bit too far back. Close that. Back seat from this side. Once again, everything follows through. And like I said, I really do apologize about how rushed this video is getting. Up front, power passenger seat in this one, all of your controls down below. And inside of here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature, state inspection certificate, everything like that, as well as 
It's like your wiring harness for towing. It even does still have some of the tags from when it was brand new still equipped. That's another thing I have to say too. This is an extremely clean traverse. Usually when we get these in, they have just been destroyed by families. You can see the daytime running lights are on. Go ahead and cut the headlights on. Right there, as well as the fog lights. And up front, halogen headlights, fog lights down below. And then under the hood on this one, it is equipped with GM's 3.6 liter V6. Everything under here is in great shape. Running fantastic. And this engine, especially with all wheel drive, more than enough power for this car. Go ahead, bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut it off right here. Wheel chime, reminding you to remove your key fob and put the lights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.